Welcome guys. Uh, putting together part three, I believe it is, um, on my control panel here. Uh, I've made significant progress, I suppose, uh, since this last video I put together a week ago or something like that, a couple weeks ago. Uh, kind of go over a few things here first. Um, I did make a support uh, for my wired keyboards. Uh, and as you can see, I just got my wired mouse here. Uh, just old ones I had laying around. Uh, I didn't need to purchase nothing. Um, I had originally planned on going wireless, because uh, I got wireless ones as well. Uh, but there is quite a bit of guys around, people around this neighborhood that have ham radios. Uh, Every now and then they'll interfere you with the radio channels. Um, used to uh, were digital uh, TVs, of course, uh, when it was analog. <clears throat> uh, there was a few times they'd come across the analog ones. Uh, so I decided to go wired so I don't have to worry about possibility of the wireless uh, getting interfered while I'm uh, making a part. Uh, that could be catastrophic. Uh, this will eliminate that then and everything will be done with the keyboards and I'll actually have to press the button to make this move or that move or what have you not to jog any access if necessary uh, but it's all supported really well I got it all trim uh, you have to go on my site I'm putting a group of pictures together as I was building that kind of the steps I, I took I took a few shots I do believe of each step that I did uh, we'll go up to the G540 or the control panel now. Um, it's closed right now. Uh, as you can see, I got my G540 now. Uh, this is the new version. Uh, it has a charge pump on the front. Uh, those not familiar with it, uh, the previous three versions had a charge pump switch uh, on the back side inside the cover, uh, which was uh, obviously very inconvenient. Uh, you would have to disconnect your whole system, pull the back cover off to kick the pump on, uh, reassemble it, put it back together. Uh, now they have it on the front, which it actually should have been on the front uh, from the get-go, uh, I believe. But uh, there may be other reasons that I'm not uh, aware of to why uh, it's on the front as compared to them being on the back other than easy access. Uh, as you can see, I've got, I built this uh, door for it, uh, it's plexiglass, uh, 0.80 I think it is, uh, thick, it's fairly thin, 8th inch or so, something like that. Uh, what I do is I just got a little pin I stick up in that hole to hold that up. Um, I suppose I could do that now. I want to show you a few things here. It's inconvenient trying to hold that though too. There we go. Kind of back up here so you can see us just uh, drill the hole and burn an old screw through it just to hold that up. Nothing, nothing fancy there. Uh, everything is wired. I got all my accesses wired. Uh, my home switches are. Um, uh, now wired to pins 1, 2, and 3. I'm still awaiting the uh, power supply, uh, the e-stop, and parallel port cable. Uh, once I get that, I'll be installing that. I may put a quick group of videos together on that. Um, it's pretty straightforward. You can see where it's going to mount uh, and how that's hooked up. I may put a sh together a short video though on that. Uh, then I'm actually going to be starting a whole new group of videos of configuration. Uh, and I'll be explaining how you configure the, the charge pump. Uh, enable pin 16 and Mach 3. Uh, if you don't, it'll go into fault. Um, various um, configurations, uh, your BIOS on your computer, uh, which you have to enable, disable, 
uh, to get everything to work right. Uh, and then once I get all that going up and running and everything, then I'm going to start. I'm going to probably just either draw up a simple program uh, for testing, or I'll do one of my simple parts uh, that I've got drawn out. Simple, I uh, like the ladder bar brackets for the Beretta, because uh, I'm going to be redoing all of them and a lot of them as well. Uh, eventually, I'll get around to redoing all of them and a lot of them on the housing, at least the other ones uh, that's welded to the chassis, then we'll stay put. Uh, but the ones for the housing, because uh, I'm going to be doing a whole new rear end and everything for that. Uh, and a few other things, and I'll go into that eventually. But that would be a pretty simple program. 16, 17 holes. Uh, and the outline of cutting the bracket itself. And then what I'll do is I'll do like the troubleshooting video of mistakes I had made. Uh, tricks of the trade, I suppose. How you uh, find your ways around doing this and doing that. Uh, Mach 3 uh, is pretty complicating. Uh, in a way it is, in a way it's not. It's just common sense, a lot of it. Um, I know quite a bit about it from, from the future and from people that I know that use it now. Um, but I'll be going over that here in the near future. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get up close here and you guys can see this or not. Uh, this is the charge pump switch I was telling you about now. On the old ones, that wasn't there. That was on the back side, uh, and it's on. Uh, and there's your fault switch, your uh, lights, rather. Uh, your power light comes on green. Each one of your axes has a green light. And this is the uh, X, Y, Z, and A. Uh, you can probably see that. That's your parallel port cable. Uh, that's the actual only cable that runs in from your computer. Uh, there's no USB drive or nothing for this. It's just uh, all operated on a 25 pin port, parallel port cable. I do believe it's 25 pins. Uh, not sure on that right off hand. Uh, but one powerful little unit there. Um, very nice uh, setup. It's got everything and anything on it. There's like I said in one of the other videos before, it's pretty much plug and play. Uh, it does anything and everything. The uh, majority of everything is done through your actual controller, which in my case is Mach 3. Um, they're all sent back signals to this unit of yours, what it does. But I've got all my wires secured. Um, good to go there. As you can see, i got a little bit of slop up here so they can move freely. Uh, these don't come in contact with with the uh, plexiglass. Uh, I'm going to shut this up here real quick like. And I'm going to turn these fans on so you can see. Uh, it, it's actually very quiet. It's all on right now. It won't get any make any more noise than that. Um, I do believe the power supply has a micro fan in it. Um, I'm not sure. I haven't really done a lot of research on that, but it's got the fans on it, so I'm thinking it probably has a micro fan in it, uh, which is going to be micro sound. But you're not going to hear it, in other words. Um, really, all you could hear is this fan here. <clears throat> I don't know if you could hear this or not. Um, but I'm all set up as far as that goes. I just wanted to put together a quick video here on that. And uh, my control panel down here. Uh, obviously the monitor will be mounted in here. Uh, I've got all my wires secured uh, inside. Uh, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, I, I do take my time and I uh, try to think things out very thoroughly before I do anything save a lot of headaches down the road should you uh, run into any problems and it's not everything's convenient to get to and take apart if necessary and reassemble and, and what have you so that pretty much covers it for this uh, video here uh, probably on the next one I'll actually put a short one together like I mentioned on getting that uh, power supply uh, 
he stops going to go directly below that switch is. Uh, probably going to put a power switch for the power supply uh, somewhere on that side. Uh, and then you could run in a parallel port cable. Uh, then after that short little video clip, probably won't be 10 minutes of that, 5 or 10 minutes, then I'll put together uh, setting everything up, configuration and everything, and getting that all running. Uh, should be good to go probably within a couple of videos and actually start be starting to put down uh, put together videos of uh, machining the parts and uh, we'll obviously be set up over here on the mill and watch this little bad boy in action then thanks for taking the time to view my videos